Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about MVPT by fixed, vol fixed voltage method in solar PV system. So why we go for MVPT algorithm? Because uh, due to change in irradiation temperature, right? So because the PV power is going to vary due to irradiation temperature. So here you can see that when I plot that PV and IV cat is 6, right? So here you can see that, so because of change in irradiation condition, so you can see that the peak power point, right, going to be changed according with the change in irradiation temperature. So that point need to be extracted from the PV in order to get the maximum power, right. So we need to, all, we need to operate that uh, PV power at the maximum power point. So when you have to operate this PV power in this region, right, so you cannot get the maximum power, right? So you, you lost some power from this uh, PV panel, right? So we need to operate that uh, PV point always here, right? With the change in irradiation condition. So for that only we go for uh, the maximum power point uh, tracking algorithm or ma maximum power point uh, tracking method, okay? So here we are going to use fixed voltage concept method. So here you can see that the uh, the voltage point right for different irradiation condition. For example, for 1000 watts per meter square, the voltage will be is around 290, right? For 500 is around 293.3, and for 100 right is around 280. So here I'm going to uh, choose. So here I am going to choose the voltage light, voltage of uh, PV panel, right? So in between this region, that means 282, 293. So here I am going to choose the voltage around 285. So I am going to operate that uh, PV panel around 285 volt. Then we can get maximum power from the PV panel, almost near to that uh, maximum power point level. So I am going to design the 285 that means in between 282 293 so we can take average also right so if you going to take average so 280 plus 293 divided by 2 sorry 280 plus 293 divided by 2 so you will get around the 286 okay so we can operate that panel at 286 volt right uh, then we will get maximum power for all kind of operating condition okay when when uh, the deradiation will be changed okay so here you can see the pv panel rating right so single panel rating is uh, 213.15 watts and then voltage at maximum power point is 29 and then the current at maximum power point is 7.35 amps so here we are using a 10 panel in series and then 40 parallel strings okay so it can generate maximum power is around 8.526 uh, that means 85.26 uh, kilowatts at a standard test condition okay and then uh, based upon this detail so we need to design this uh, boost converter so here already i designed that boost converter so you have to provide a power of PV and then input voltage, switching frequency, output voltage and then uh, you have to provide uh, the ripple inductor current and the ripple capacitor voltage and then you have to calculate the value of LNC. So this is a value for LNC for that particular boost converter. Okay. And then here I am going to measure the, the PV voltage and current. So this is PV voltage and this is PV current so the PV voltage going to be compared with the, the 285 so here we can make uh, the reference voltage is 286 volt so I am going to compare with the 286 volt and then going to be processed via PA controller and then it going to be processed via uh, PWM generator ok so this PWM generator will be generate the pulse to control this IGPT of the boost converter in order to boost the voltage from uh, 286 to around uh, 
around 600 volt okay and also uh, it going be extract the maximum power from the PV panel so here I am going to simulate this model so now you can see that the fan is operate are around 286 volt right as per that reference voltage command and also PV current is around 298 amps and then PV power is around 8.5 that means 85 kilowatts right so it is extracting the maximum power from the PV panel and also I am going to change the uh, degradation condition from degradation condition from 1000 to 500 after one second and also you have to check the results okay so for uh, 1000 we are getting almost 8, 85 kilowatts right and then for uh, 500 watts per meter square we are getting almost uh, 4.3 right so here we need to check the PV cat 6 so for 500 you are getting 4.3 right that means 43 kilowatts right so we are getting the maximum power for change in uh, irradiation condition also okay so this is the working of uh, MBPT algorithm by fixed voltage method in solar PV system so thanks for watching my videos kindly subscribe to the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much Bye-bye.